Well, hello, everyone. It's time for our, our Wednesday devotion. It's a great opportunity to continue to come together to worship our Lord, to, to, to see what he has to tell us in his word. I was thinking a lot about what's been going on in, in our world. And I kept coming up at, with, with this word, whatever. Whatever. I, I've heard people in the news when, when being questioned about things saying whatever. Or I, I've even read in, in social media people responding to articles, people responding to to. to Articles and news stories and, and comments that people are making and they're just saying whatever. We've, we made this word whatever kind of a rude word. We, we've made this word whatever a, a way of expressing indifference, a, a way of saying that I'm not going to care what you have to say. It's telling the other person that they really don't matter. What their thoughts, what they, what they feel is right doesn't matter. You're not going to listen to them. You're not going to accept them. Whatever. I know I've used that many times when people have said things to me and, and I've been kind of, <laughs> kind of distraught at what they're, what they're thinking. I would just respond with that, whatever. It's kind of that talk to the hand, not to me. Well, I was looking at Colossians 3.17. And it starts with whatever. It says, and whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Whatever. It's not a rude thing. We are asked whatever is it of any kind, no matter what happens. Everything we do, everything that, that is going to happen, we're going to do in the name of the Lord. We're not going to make any exceptions. Words and deeds, the, the way we speak, the, the way we act, in other words, life and lips, we're going to do in his name. Whatever. All things, everything. What strikes me the most, it, it, it talks about whatever. It, it, it's going to talk about good things and bad things. That everything is done in the name of the Lord by giving thanks to him. Giving thanks to God the Father through him. Giving thanks to God the Father because he has created us. He has, he has blessed us. We thank him in our good times. We thank him in our sufferings. We thank him because we're growing in faith. We grow in hope. We grow closer to him. Whatever. Whatever we do. Whether in word or deed. Whether in in our lips or in our life, in, in, in every action, in every thought, in every spoken word we say. It's to be done in the name of the Lord. How does that change our thought process and, and the way we respond to what's happening in our world? How does that change our thought process? How does that, that, that change the way we react when, when people say something that we might not agree with? How does that change who we are around other people so that they can see this God that has done everything for us? We have a great, great God call themselves the great I am, the, the one that is always with us, the one that blesses us, the one that we give praise to, the one that we give thanks to when whatever happens. Whatever. Don't make it a bad thing. Make it something that we do for our Lord. In word, in deed, giving thanks to him. It's all about the whatevers. Whatever for our God. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, 
You've asked us that whatever we do, we do to the glory of your name, giving thanks to you. But Lord, we, we tend to forget that. We tend to change that. We, we, we take that word whatever and we make it a bad thing. We, we've turned it into a, a, a word that says we don't care. But when it comes to you, it's about all we do. Everything we do. We do for you. In the good times, in the times of suffering, it's done for you. May the word whatever be something we lift up to you. May, it, may our, our actions, may our words, may our thoughts be pleasing to you. May people see you through us. Because Lord, it's, it's whatever, whatever happens. We know we can do it to your glory. We ask this, Lord, in your name. Amen. Uh, one of my favorite Christian artists is Jared Anderson. And he wrote a song called Great I Am. And it, it's a song of praise. It's, it's a song to, to, to just sing hallelujah to our Lord, to, to, to give him thanks for all that he's done for us. And I would like to share that song with you. So as, as we go through the song, listen to the words and pray these words. But this is great, I am. the D 